there. Stand here for a second. Ready, go. Ready? Drive your Ready? thing. Ready, go. Whoa. Hold on, no, I get it. Oh. Ready? <laughs> Duffy's. It's the shampoo for you. Stand there. I'm America's sweetheart, Eric Ryan. This is why she's a brewery. I'm about to make the internet great again with a little video I like to call Beer Pong with Brewery Owners featuring Nan LaForge. Not doing that again. You suck. You suck. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. Bingo. Nailed <laughs> it. So here's the deal. We're gonna play beer pong. I'm, you and me. I'm gonna ask you questions. If I win, I get a case of watch you sit beer. If you win, you get a case of Duffy's Brew Beer Shampoo. Deal? Deal. Beer pong! Are you ready? Yeah. Oh, but that is the perfect bomb. Never. Sometimes you get a swap. Oh! Come on, Dad. Oh! Dad, baby, you look thirsty. We could just put this in a shampoo. If you could only we could put harness it in a the energy. So you started to watch Shusit in 1993, right? Yes. So you grew up sort of in the dark age of beer. We're in the golden age of beer now, which you were sort of responsible for. What was your shitty beer of choice when you were growing up? Shitty shittiest beer, beer that I drank. Shittiest beer that you drank. Was back Walk in college. Through. I almost feel bad because I don't want to offend the no. masters of the They know that they make shitty beer. Back in New York. Yeah. It would have to have been uh, Peels. Peels? Peels Export. You don't even know what it is. I don't know. We bought a case of Export bar bottles of peels at State Liquor on Park Ave, Worcester, Mass. For pocket change, with deposit, it was under six dollars. That's incredible. Peels. 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 Only two. No way. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. No way. Come on, Ned. You got this. Ned, you got so many cups. Oh, Ned. What's the thing? Oh, 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 all right, so you were one of the first major American breweries to put blueberries in beer, right? Uh, yeah. Why absolutely. would you do that? So we're in New England. Yeah. It's an indigenous fruit to New England, and people in New England love blueberries. Blueberry pancakes, blueberry muffins. They wanted it in beer, and I didn't want to put it in beer. Sure. I didn't want to put any fruit in beer, but um, they asked for it and wanted it, and so we did it. Do you feel at all responsible for Bud Light Lime? Yes, I do. <laughs> you should. Come on! We need to have Stacy! Where's Osha? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Like there that. Yeah. Yeah. Your name is Edward LaFortune, and you own the uh, second largest brewery in Massachusetts. Is that a stage name? <laughs> That's just incredible foreshadowing by somebody in your family, as if like my mother named me Eric LaSyphilis. Uh, so you've invested over five million dollars, this is according to my research, in the last five years. Five million dollars into this facility yeah. to keep up with demand. Yeah. I also read that when you told your father that you were committing uh, to breweryism instead of uh, engineering, that he yelled at you. He did. Was all of his advice absolutely horrific? That's really interesting. Um, well, I because was, you've made it, right? I mean, this is a this yeah. is a big deal. I just I can completely understand his perspective. He helped put me through engineering school, right? And the risks associated with getting into brewing. Mm -hmm. and uh, trying to build a viable business for you know, my family and then eventually all of our employees, which have over 50 now. I think that he wasn't far off on understanding the risk. Sure. You know, um, but it didn't matter. I didn't care. I was, I was 24 years old and hell-bent on building a business with my best buddies from college. And um, yeah, so... I actually think it was good advice, but I didn't heed it anyway. That was horrible advice. <laughs> it was horrible, horrible. Look at you. He's doing pretty good. 
super good at marketing. Can I tell you, so you have Green Monster IPA, just served at Fenway Park, right? Absolutely, yeah. You have Bruin American Pale Ale, which plays into the love of the Bruins. Uh, yes, we this do. Era. You have Larry, which has sort of been like a Larry Bird Absolutely. thing that you've- All on. Right, yep. and then the Belichick Pills, which is right there. <laughs> we are in Westminster, Massachusetts, right? That's where the yeah, brewery is. It. Is there any particular reason? It's hometown. Here? Is that what it is? So you give it back to the community? Well, you know, do the right thing here in town. Did yeah. you keep it here on purpose? Uh, we were fortunate enough mm -hmm. uh, to be able to brew and build our company here. Yeah, it was, it was, I, I want them to do it here yeah. in town. We're going to be here for uh, forever. You have uh, expanded into the world of hard seltzer. Yes. Can you tell me about that? We saw a place and an opportunity where we could make something very unique. Basically, I had watched uh, Sam Adams for 15 years with their Twisted Tea, you know, have extreme success. So I thought, well, maybe we could do something local. We started down that road of trying to create a base, just join the market, yeah. and next thing we know, seltzer. Seltzer, and what's it called? Naughty Seltzer. Naughty Seltzer. The thing I like about Naughty Seltzer, you spell it N-A-U-T-I, right? Yes, we do. Because not only does it appeal to the suburban housewife who's on a diet, but also gay pirates. Would you agree? They love it. <laughs> gay pirates are a big fan. Arg. <laughs> Float an idea past him <clears throat> to sell beer shampoo. I'm thinking of a video series called Beer Pong with Brewery Owners. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm in. Are can you I in? Be the first contestant? You can you absolutely like that? be the first contestant. All right, we're good. That's Thanks. a wrap. Mm. <laughs> Cue the music. <laughs> Oh, okay.